So one of the questions I get a lot is, how do I hire great staff? Well, there's lots of ways you can hire great staff, but one thing I will mention to start is please don't even consider hiring any type of staff until you've made sure that you've got all of your systems, your processes, and your SOPs fully documented because you need to have your new team member understand what it is that you want them to do and procedures and processes to follow so that the job gets done properly. Now, when it comes to actually creating the ad to get your new team member, one of the things you want to do is be very real and personal about in your ad about what it is that you're looking for in a team member. What are you trying to build? What is the business that you envision for yourself? And what does this person look like that you want to bring into this business? So you don't want to have your standard, you know, you're going to work 40 hours a week, you know, five years experience, you have this accreditation, that sort of thing. But you could have a little bit of that in there, but it's more about who do you want to bring onto your team and what result is it that you're trying to achieve in your business? So be very real and very personal. Stand out from the rest, the other ads that are out there. Now, when it comes to standing out from the rest, what we want to do is make sure that you have the ability to have the people that you actually want to speak to, those candidates, you want to have those people stand out from the other people that respond to your ad. Because here's what I see a lot. You'll put an ad out there with, you know, same ad as everybody else and you will be inundated. You could get, I, I mean, I've had myself a thousand plus uh, uh, responses come in and then you're looking at your inbox going like, how do I even sort through these? Here's a little trick to filter your ad. When you write the ad itself, at the very bottom of the ad, you want to put a very unusual sentence that says something along the lines, when you respond to this ad, please put in the subject line, Little Red Riding Hood ran. Very simple, has nothing to do with the ad, has nothing to do with the bookkeeping job, right? But what that tells you when it comes back is that that person read all the way to the bottom of the ad. You know, a lot of people will skim just the top and hit reply, 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 and it comes through and your, your inbox is overwhelmed. So there's two things to that. One, you're going to know they read to the bottom of the ad because they're detail oriented. And let's face it, bookkeeping is a very detail oriented business. So we want to make sure that they do pay attention to detail. The other thing it does is it allows you the opportunity to filter how you want to respond to these ads. So every ad that comes in or every response to your ad that comes in that does not have that line in the subject line, you're going to put into a different folder. Maybe you'll go look at them later. You're probably going to have a lot of those sitting in there. The ones that do requested line in the subject line, you can put into a different folder and you can go through those at your own pace slower, knowing that those are the people that actually read to the bottom of your ad and are paying more attention to detail. So it's a cool little way to filter them out so that you don't get overwhelmed with too many responses to your ad. All right. Now, once you've gone through the candidates that you feel you would like to move a little bit further with, what you want to do is screen them and test them. There's no point in taking anybody at their word for their skill level. I don't, you know, I don't care what their credentials are. They can have all the letters after their name that they want, but the bottom line comes down to, do they actually know what they're doing? So run them through a skills assessment, a speed test, and make sure that they really are up to speed and they really can do what they say they can do. Now, another thing you want to do when you're in the interview process, let's say you've moved through all those stages and you've done the skills assessment and now we're interviewing for actual fit. You want to make sure that you discuss what their goals are because your goals for them and their goals for them could be two completely different things. So and I'll give you an example. A lot of people will use bookkeeping jobs as a stepping stone to building their own bookkeeping firm because, hey, they think it's easy, right? <laughs> Super simple, easy to run a bookkeeping business. Well, it's not. And you guys know that. But what you want to do is make sure that you're talking to them about, you know, where do you see yourself in five years? in 10 years because if their response to you is well you know I'd like to do this for a few years and then I'd like to have my own bookkeeping firm you might be okay with that but if you're trying to build something and you're sharing your processes and your procedures and you're teaching them and you're developing their skills you want to think about how much time and money and resources do I want to invest in this person when I know they're going to leave me in the end anyway the other key to that is that if they are trying to build out their own bookkeeping business in the end eventually as they bring on more and more clients they're they're going to have less and less time for you and you are going to become less and less of a priority to them. So think about things like that and have that discussion at the beginning before you agree to bring somebody on. And the last thing I'll leave you with is when you are bringing somebody on to your team, you've made the decision, this is who I want 
want to work with, you've got to stress, and I can't stress this enough, how important this is. You've got to make sure it's very clear that they are going to follow those systems and processes, procedures that you've created. They're going to follow them. It is not up to them how they do the work. They're not going to do it their way. You put the time and energy and perhaps money into building those processes. So you want to make sure that they understand from the start that they must follow them. Everybody on your team, even if this is your first hire, everybody on your team will follow the same processes each and every time. Hope that helped.